I'm not going to hold you guys long this afternoon. Betty, I'll, wor I'll, I'll, wor I'll warn you, he says that every week. But I'm going to just say a few things, and I'm going to try to let you all go. But here's what I want to start with. As they sang that song, the, through the world of toys and snares, hip up, fall through, Lord, who cares? Guide me gently, safely, or... Who thy kingdom destroy for sure. If I falter, Lord, who cares? Now, here's where I'm going. That's what some folks are afraid of. I'm going to falter. I'm going to fail. I won't make it. And how will I look? The world will see me and how will I look? But if I falter, Lord, who cares? Here's what I want you to get tonight. I'm going to stumble. Make some mistakes. Okay. Here's why I'm going with that. The Lord wants you to make more mistakes. Here's what I mean by He wants you to make mistakes. You're human, right? You're going to make them. But here's what the Lord wants you to understand I got you. You may stumble, but I got you. You're not going to fail. And if you should fall for a time, I'm going to pick you up. And if I don't get you, well, I have you. But I'm going to send somebody else to help you up. If I fall to Lord, who cares? And, and, and I want to say this. There's good in that. Why do I say there's good in that? Lord, all my life I stutter. What, what good can be in that? There's good in that. Why is there good in that? The Lord can use those things. He does. He uses those things. How does he use those things? So people can see him, right? Daryl can't do it. He can't do it. She can't do it. Jim can't do it. Or she can't do it. But I can. So see, here's what I want you to understand. This. If it doesn't look the way you want it to look, don't worry about it. But here's what's wrong with the world. But I don't want to look like a fool. You're not going to be made to look like a fool. You won't. Because the Lord has us. Now I'm going to start with this. James 3 and 2, it says this. Let me get there, and, and I'm going to start here with Zach. I'm going to start with Zach, and that's on purpose. Let me go ahead and get the right click. And here's why I want to start with that very thing. Because it talks about how we are going to stumble in some things gonna stumble so why is girl starting on the thing uh, on something like that who wants to hear about I'm gonna stumble and that sounds like what he's actually saying is that I'm not going to be successful but that's not what he's uh, hey that's not what that means in Mark 16 and, no 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 I'm sorry James 3 and 2 I am so see y'all look see I'm stumbling already <laughs> I am already I've stumbled. But here's the point I want made. The Lord will take that and use that for his good. And, and let me stop there. I told somebody something this weekend. The Lord is going to use you. But here's what happens to so many folks. I've been used so much in this life, so I don't want to be used anymore. Nobody wants to use me anymore. But the Lord is going to take you and he's going to use you in a good way. And a way in which he can impact and change somebody else's life. In James 3 and 2, here's how that reads. For we stumble in, in many things. Hey, if anyone does not stumble in word, he is a perfect man. Able also hey, to bridle the whole body. We're going to stumble. You be prepared for it. We're going to stumble. But here's what I want you to understand. As you stumble, you look to him to take that and use that for his good. And don't be afraid to stumble. My point is don't set out in order to stumble because you don't have to prepare for it. It's going to happen. We're human, right? But here's what I'm saying. After you have, don't worry about it. 
Let the Lord take care of them. We're going to stumble. Man, hey, there are some folks who say, well, who wants to stumble? We're going to stumble if for no other reason than we're human. And then I'm going to second, hey, Corinthians 12 and 9. Here's where he says, 2 Corinthians 12 and 9, and he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. As you stumble, as you fall, my strength is made perfect. How is his strength being made perfect in that time? Who does the world see? Him, right? He sees him. So, I'm going back to do not worry about when you stumble. Don't worry about how it looks. Hey, the Lord has you. He has it all planned out. I think back to a time as a kid, and I know in my mind when God let Satan know that Daryl is going hey, to preach, I can hear Satan. I don't think so. Try it. Let him do it. I'm going to make a fool out of it. I hope he does it. I dare him to. But here I am. Here I am. Why am I here? Because of the Lord. He had a plan. He has a plan for us, but here's what we can't do. Don't worry about stumbling. We're going to do it. But the Lord has us. And then the very next thing I'm going to, what makes you think you can do something? Daryl, you or anybody else, what makes us think that we can impact somebody's life? What makes us think that, hey, that we can go out and do these things? What makes us think that? How should we think that? Next, I'm going to this. And here's what I want you to share with folks. In the book of Matthew 28 and 19, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make us disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We are commissioned by Christ to go forth and share the gospel of Jesus Christ. If anybody tells you you can't do it, tell him. I'm sent to do it. I am a child of God and I, I am sent to do it. And I'm going to do all I can to Lead people to Christ. And even when I stumble, I'm not going to stop. I won't get discouraged. And let me say this. Do not let anyone make you feel bad about you stumbling. I stumble all the time. I live with it every day of my life. But here's what the Lord will do. He will take that and turn that into his gift. Why are we here, guys? To bring glory to who? Christ. How is that done? Often it, it, it is done in times in which we stumble. It's done in times in which we stumble, but I got news for you. Here's where I'm going next. Even if you should stumble for a short time, how do I know he has us? How can I stand up here and say, the Lord has me? I want to read this next verse to you. 2 Timothy 2 and 13 it reads as follows. 2 Timothy 2 and 13. 2 and 13. Here's what it says. If we are faithful, he remains faithful. He cannot he deny himself. He cannot he deny himself. He will not change. He does not change. We don't worry about what has happened, what has occurred, because it doesn't matter. Why? Because it's behind us. Here's what some folks do not understand. Anything that is behind you, you've gotten through it, right? It doesn't matter. It's, it's behind you. But, but here's what the Lord is saying. If you remain faithful, I'm not going to deny him. And even if you don't, he's still going to do what he does. He's not going to deny himself. But here's my message for you. If you remain faithful, stay in Christ. It's going to work out. How is it going to work out? Oftentimes, we're not going to understand. I heard her say something this morning. Hey, my heart just kept wind up a pair of my, my age. But once again, that wasn't her plan. The Lord has a plan. 
I remember hey, when I was small. Wasn't my plan. Heck, hey, I thought that'd be neat to go up there, and do, but I'm not gonna go do that. Whoa, that's a scary thing. Now it's where I belong. Why? Because I let the Lord have the steering wheel. He's in control. You're not going to understand, but here's where I'm going. Don't let Satan make you think because what may have happened or because you don't understand it. Just, I, and I got news for you guys. Like, I don't understand it, he doesn't understand it. If he has us, it doesn't matter what he puts, what he tries to put it. Can't I hear you? Because you can't do it, bro. You won't ever be able to do it. What makes you think you can go up there with more people and speak? What makes you think you that good? Christ is what he has given. He has all of the authority on heaven and earth. And if he says we can, I got news for you. We can. Now, that don't make sense how it happens. I leave the house every Sunday morning saying, Lord, I know you got me. I know you got me. You have to have me because if he doesn't help me, y'all, you're in for a bad day. But he has me. And I got, and this is my message for you. Christ has us every day and all the time. He's not going to deny himself. So stay in faith, stay in prayer, and here's where I'm going. Don't be concerned they would have looks. Because let me say this. What you see is not what somebody else sees. I have a little granddaughter that is a pretty a smart little girl. She surprises me all the time, and, and I enjoy hitting down there. And I, I will sit there and I will watch it. And the thing she says blows me away. But here's what I do not understand: she has it fixed inside her head that she has got to do something she loves me. Lord is going to have to work that out. How he is, that's up to him. But here's what I'm here to do. If you watch me, my hair has gotten short and my beard has gotten a whole lot short. Because she's told me I don't like that. And here's why it's gotten short. I can't mess this up. I need to do everything I can to let the Lord have his way. How he's going to work this out, I don't see it. And I'm never going to see it. But here's what I do understand. He's short her already. And I don't have to understand it. I just have to be led by Christ and let the Lord has his way. She tells, she said, I got black eyes just like you, Papa. My eyes are just like yours. I said, okay, baby. They're brown, but that's okay. No, they're black, Papa. Okay, they're black. My hair looks like yours. Her hair is pretty. I have to have mine perm. Hers is just like this. Hers is pretty. But my point is this. We're not going to understand it. You're never going to understand it. It's never going to look the way you want to look. And I thank God it, it does not look the way I had it planned. Let him have his way. It's going to work out the way he has it planned. I look at her all the time and I say, I'm glad the Lord have you because I don't. And I'll try to tell her, no, baby, you're a little girl. Mama, you can't look like that. And I'm happy you don't look like that. Papa, Papa's old. Papa's old with me. But you're a pretty little girl. Papa, I'm just like you. My point is this. The Lord is going to put things in folks' hearts. Hey, the Lord is going to, these folks will be shown things through you that you are never going to see. It's never going to make sense to you. But I got news for you. We don't have to understand it, right? He just has to have his way. In, in our weakness, he's made strong. If we allow, and in that, he's going to get what? The glory. It's not about us, it's about him. But we can, here's, here is what I have for you this afternoon. Here's what I meant by those stairs. We can be used by Christ if we'll humble ourselves. The Lord can use us for his good. If we can humble us, that is where our strength and that is where our power is. We don't have the strength and the power to do anything, but we can humble ourselves and allow ourselves to be used by Christ, and that's where God is going to be glorified. If you can just humble yourself. But here's what happens to some folks. I need to understand this, or they get concerned with them. It's never going to be about you. Why is it not about you? This world is not our home. We're just passing through. Lord, it... If I fall to the Lord, who cares? This is short term. This is temporary. We're on our way. 
to a life of eternal life. It's a certainty now. Mm -hmm. Here is where if we accept him, we're going home with him. If we don't, you won't. But here's the point. We can't be concerned with this, how it looks or how it feels or how I want it to be. It's the end result. I've often heard folks say this, the end does not justify the means. In this situation, it does. It does. The only thing that's going to last forever is our salvation. That's what we are here to do, to lead others to Christ. As you go about your way, say hey, this week, as we do what we do, I want you to understand just what the old song says. If I fall to the Lord, who cares? I'm going to stumble. I'm going to make mistakes. I make them all the time. I hear, folks, I hear this said all the time. I hear this said all the time. Uh, what makes you think you're right? I'm not right. He is. What makes you think you can say this? I didn't say it. He did. What makes you think this? No, he has all authority in heaven and earth. I'm only here to share his word, to share the love of Christ with the world. That's what we're here to do. And if we will do what he has asked of us, he said what? He will not hey, deny himself. If we'll just do what he's asked of us. And what did he ask of us? To love each other as we. Hey, to love our neighbor as we love ourselves and we are to love him with all our heart, mind, spirit, and soul. And, and what? Share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Those three things. And when folks tell you what makes you think you, you can do it, it's in there. He says we can. But how do we do it? And, and I'm going to say this. Understand this. When people tell you what you can't do, share with them, okay? But I know somebody who can. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. I can't do it, but I don't have to do it. Because I tell you what, y'all, I'm in touch with a big boy that can handle all things the way he wants it handled. But what we have to do is just humble ourselves and stay in touch and stay in prayer and be led by him. And everything is going to work out how for his good, which is what the will of God. What is the will of God that we all go home to what? To be with him. That's why he hung on the cross, right? He paid for our sins with his blood, that with the atonement of sin. What that fixes so, hey, there is a way for everybody. And, and it's access through him. It's through him. Everybody has access to him except what he's done. It has been given to us. We're just here to do share the word of Christ. Daryl often says impact, impact, impact. How will they hear if we don't share? I'm going to say it again. How will they hear if we don't share? The stairway. That's what we are here to do. It, it is us. We are here to preach the gospel of Christ this year. And oh, I'm going to say this. I've heard this said by him so many times. You preach all the time. But what are you preaching? And who are you preaching for? I hope it's Jesus Christ. I hope that it's the message of salvation. And that's all I have for you guys. I've enjoyed you so much. And guys, that's all we have to do. Stay in prayer, stay in faith, and don't worry about stumbling. It won't happen. I do it on a daily basis. And I tell you what, guys, I'm not there alone. Now, head, head happens, I'm in stride. Now I try not to even break stride. That's just me. It happens. I'm going to make mistakes. But I'm not going to stop, though. I'm going to keep right on doing what he has asked of me until he comes back to take me home. And then there, I'm not, I'm not going to stumble. I'm not going to be concerned with anything. Scripture says there, what every day is going to be Sunday. There will be no more pain. There will be no more crying. There will be no more dying. That's what we're here to do is to share that with the world. The, hey, the only answer here is who? Jesus Christ. And here's what's so wonderful about our stumbling. I'm stumbling too. I don't, care, I don't care what's happened to you. He fixed me too. Fixed you. He helped me. He's going to help you. 
He loves you just as much as he loves me. That's what's so wonderful about our weaknesses. Here's what he wants us to share with the world. The Lord can fix everything. At, at some point in somebody's life, he already has. Why not let him fix yours? He's already did it before. He's not new. He was here once it started. He's going to be here when this is over. Let him fix whatever's wrong with you. If we'll let him have his way and, and his will, we'll all go home to be with the Lord. I'm going to pray and I'm going to let you guys go. Why? Because that's an old sermon. That's an old message. Why is it so old and why is it so true? It never, it never changes. It's, it's the story of Jesus Christ. He hung on the cross and bled, bled and died for us. Lord, as we go up that and far away, Lord, I pray that each year, Lord, will stop and share the good news that you have paid for all our sins. All you want us to do, Lord, is stop and, ex and accept for this free gift, Lord, that you have paid for. In your, your name I pray. Amen. Thanks for having you guys, and, and I'm happy to have you here. <laughs>